everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we got everything for you right here. Before we get into some Major League Baseball for June 26th, again, I want to invite you to join the VIP Club section right here. You can see it has all these tools that will help you. Okay, so we have some games set up as we're getting closer and closer to the All-Star break. So we're going to get started and taking a look at some of these games. So in this one here between Cincinnati and Baltimore, you see Cincinnati comes in burning hot while Baltimore is averaged down. You can see Cincinnati has won their last six, while Baltimore is 3-3 three and three over their last six. Uh, Cincinnati is going with uh, Brandon Williamson on the mound. You can see he is 1-0 and oh with a 5.4 ERA. But look, he is a very good bet at plus 657 on the pitcher profit oscillator. If we take a look at the over-under, you can see that, um, let's see. Baltimore is over in their last three, while Cincinnati has been involved in these under and two out of the last three. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, both teams are near the top with Baltimore plus 27. Look at the steep incline for Cincinnati over their recent uh, winning streak there, now up to plus 26 as well. The score predictor has Baltimore by a 7 to 6 margin, so it's going to be a very tight one here, according to this, with 63% confidence. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how stable the two teams have been, you can see Baltimore is at plus 16, while Cincinnati is at plus 7. So both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, although you can see that Cincinnati was at plus 23 back on May the 23rd, and they have dropped to plus 7. So lately, they have not been as stable. So in the end, I like the Reds to continue this hot streak. I like them to win this one, but pass on the over-under. Milwaukee and New York Mets. If we take a look at this matchup, Milwaukee comes in, loses of two out of their last three, but they are four and two over their last six. While New York is ice cold down, they have lost their last two and just one and four over their last five. Um, the score predictor has Milwaukee by an eight to two margin, a pretty comfortable margin of win with 68% confidence. But if you look at the over under in the last three games, Milwaukee is over and two, but in the last... Um, Five, they've been involved in games over in just two, while the Mets have been involved in games over in four out of the last six. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see that the trend has been pretty uh, consistent with both teams, up and then down from Milwaukee with a uh, pretty stableness over the last couple of days. And the same thing with the Mets. So right now, Milwaukee is at plus 14, and the Mets are at plus six. As far as head-to-head -head goes this season, you can see at the beginning of the year, they had a three-game series. Milwaukee won all three, two of them in blowout fashion. In fact, the first two were uh, both shutouts, 10 nothing and 9 nothing. So in the end, though, I like this one to be Milwaukee, and I like it to be a high-scoring game. So Milwaukee and over. Minnesota and Atlanta. Here's two teams coming in burning hot. You can see Minnesota winners of their last two, while Atlanta winners of their last six. If you take a look at the over-under chart, you can see that Minnesota is four uh, over and two under in the last six, while Atlanta is two, the last two have been under the line, and they are three over and three under in their last six. The score predictor has a, a little bit of a surprising seven to one blowout in favor of Minnesota, not that the, not that, excuse me, in favor of Atlanta, not that predicting Atlanta to win is a surprise, but the blowout is with 74% level of confidence. The power ranks indicator has Atlanta near the top of the league at stable at plus 29, while Minnesota has climbed recently from plus 5 to plus 11. If you take a look at the stability factor, like we always like to do here, you can see Atlanta among the most stable teams in the league, if not the most stable at plus 20, while Minnesota has been hovering around the plus 7 to plus 9 mark uh, for the last, geez, since very early in the season, and they are now at plus 7 as the moment. So in the end, though, I like Atlanta, and I think this is going to be a lower scoring game. So let's take Atlanta and under. The next one is Detroit at Texas. Both teams come in average up. Uh, both teams 4-2 and two over their last six. As far as the over-under goes, uh, Detroit has been involved in games over the line three out of their last four, while Texas has been involved over the game over the line also in three of the last four. So very similar uh, trends for these two teams. Uh, Texas predicted to win 7-3 to three with a confidence in it at 60.5%. You take a look at the power ranks indicator, the trends have been very uh, similar too. You can see the downward trend from 28 to 24 for Texas, and Detroit has gone down from 11 to 7 over the last day or two. 
So the way we're going to look at this one, I'm going to take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups next. If we take a look at that, you can see that in the first three games this of this season between the two teams, Texas has won two of those three in Detroit. I like the trend to continue for Texas at home. I think they will win this one in a game over. Chicago and the Angels, the White Sox come in ice cold down. You can see uh, losers of four out of their last six. While the Angels are average down, they have also lost three out of their last four, and they're three and three over their last six. Uh, as far as the over-under goes, they are trending on opposite sides of the line here. You can see um, Chicago over in their last two, while Los Angeles under in their last three. The score predictor has Los Angeles by a seven to three margin with the Confidence in prediction of about 64%. On the power ranks indicator chart, you can see the Los Angeles in up, up and downward trend. Right now in a downward trend at plus 19. While the Angels are on a slight upward trend over the last couple of days from plus 5 to plus 8. The two teams met earlier in the season, three games, with uh, Los Angeles winning two out of three on the road. I like this one to be... And Angels win, but I'm kind of kind of hedge on the over under bet because they're trending on opposite sides of the line. So again, let's take the Angels, but pass on the over under. Washington at Seattle. We take a look at this one. Washington comes in dead status, just one and five over the last six, while Seattle is three and three over the last six. Average status. You can see the over under trend is that Seattle under in three out of the last four while Washington is under in four out of their last six. You expect a more of an underscore in this one. Uh, the score predictor, you know, with the eight to two, that's not sure if that's going to be over or under because the line has not yet been set. But take a look as that gets closer to the game and take a look at this to see if the score prediction has changed. But right now, eight to two with 62% confidence in prediction. On the power ranks indicator, with the steep downward trend over the last few days for Seattle from 18 down to 10. And Washington has been Hovering down at the bottom all year, and they're at plus three. You take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor. You can see that Seattle has been moderately stable at plus seven, but Washington has been consistent, very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. They are at plus 15. In the end, though, I like Seattle in this one, and I think this is going to trend on a lower scoring side. So I'm going to go Seattle and under the line. So there you have it. Those are the six games for Major League Baseball for June 26th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.